Hey, this is Deb. Welcome to episode 16, entitled Everyone Hide the Bolters. If you hadn't guessed, the uh, violence continues to escalate in this episode. You guys, as you may recall last time, more or less got the green light to make Alpha Squad go bye-bye while the captain and everyone else is trying to get things together. Um, and as you may recall, uh, there was a, a, a phone call from Groves who more or less let you know uh, that Alpha Squad had suffered a unfortunate setback some blocks away. You had also uncovered not only among the evidence, just little things pointing that Alpha Squad had been fucking with you all along to include tipping the psyker off and picking up little bits of your clothing, pilfering through your shit, and you hadn't noticed that. Um, but you also found their car keys. So if if memory serves, you, you were just going to steal a car and floor it to, to get to that location as suggested. Unless you yeah. had any thoughts between now and or then and now. Well, as we were specifically instructed, this couldn't appear to be us, correct? Uh, yeah, it was, it was told make them go away, you know, just, just make it happen. And, and no official government anything, you know, this is not official, this is cleaning house. Yes, so I will place a confiscated evidentiary gun off the turret back into its case with its tripod and load that delicately into the trunk of the car. Okay. And should we have an opportunity to use it, we may. Okay, so you're you're packing away the heavy kit just in just, you know, just in case you need to bring the uh, heavy bang bang along with you. Smart, smart. Yeah, yeah. We're we're ready for the picnic as it were. All right. Um, and, and you had received a uh, notification that of course, um, Groves had hinted that if you went to this location where he had hint- indicated just some blocks away, everything would be, you know, the, the path would be there. It would begin there. However, you don't have to follow him or listen to him. You, you can do whatever you want at this point, but I feel I would be remiss if I did not let you know that this is entered the end game. Your actions and decisions up to this point have fully committed you to an outcome. And right now we are playing out those minor details based on your concurrent choices. So, well, hold on. So, so are you saying I can't just go and check out my, my, uh, cabaret club or, uh, pick a few more fights in the streets you could do those things actually um d- just because you love yakuza so much you you could you could do those things and <sighs> the outcome would change based on that <laughs> I no no i mean you pause that part and i just go do the rest of that other stuff yeah i can't do that <laughs> yeah, it's like, hold Griglank on, needs know. to kill somebody this week. See, Griglank, yeah, want- Griglank is tired of this investigation. Griglank Let's heard go murder. Grind Griglank first before we do end game stuff. So. <laughs> go grind the squad. <laughs> go, <laughs> go grind <laughs> Griglank. So he's just like you, you see, like Grig Griglank has entered Zone Zero, and he's like down there punching rats all day. Yeah, we, we just we start at the bottom of a hive block and work our way to the top. That would actually be a bad idea. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean you can, you can AOE grind, but you chose the uh, you chose the wrong class. That would be Psyker. That's AOE grinding. The spell or skill is called Holocaust, and it's just AOE damage. But it, I didn't get to have that one. <laughs> yeah, it's it's you have to pretty much build a character for it, and even then, it's indiscriminate. So it's just like you've murdered three thousand people, and you're like, yay! Yeah, but there's a chance that we did that already with the nuke. <laughs> God damn it! So you don't need to be a Psyker. Mass murderer. <laughs> accidentally doesn't count in the eyes of the emperor i think you know I, i'm just gonna say this this is not a universe of right and wrong um this is <laughs> this is more a universe of allowable and not allowable and things that can and won't get you in trouble yeah it's, it's blue and orange morality yeah it's it's really bad um it's really bad and yes i get it it's very gray huh I can't see I'm going to pick the renegade option. 
All right. So, anyways, uh, you guys had last um, the, taken the uh, road to do your captain's bidding and to retire Alpha Squad through the most direct means possible, to include stealing their very fancy car and uh, taking what weapons you can. Groves and, amazing, yeah. best boss ever. Yeah, and 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 while well, you guys had earned it, you actually did have enough evidence to show that you're not fucking crazy and just murder hobos. You'd actually presented enough evidence and carefully prepared yourselves in a way to where, when it came down to what the fuck are you guys doing, you said this and just had a mile high pile of shit. And it became just so obvious that, yeah. you With a body on top of it. With, yeah, with a body on top of it and positive IDs. You're just like, <laughs> you know, just push all that in their pile. So you did very good on that. All side quests accomplished in the find evidence bin, at least that you know so far. But you've done very, very well. Um, Not well enough to figure out what's going on yet, but good enough. So um, last we left off. You had uh, located the vehicle, put things together, loaded up on weapons. It is mercifully only raining slightly, but the skies darken, and the coming clouds indicate that, yes, it will be another shitty day in Magna City, the bay, and everything in between. What do you do? Okay, um, so this can't be linked back to us as law enforcement, correct? It needs to be off the books. All right. We're going to need some more Mr. Johnson weaponry then. Yeah. I don't think the last gun's going to be enough to take out the Alpha Chads. You said Alpha Chads. I have a long last. They're really more of a Kyle. That's bra- No, that's Bravo. <laughs> Bravo or the, like, except for the boss who's like the operator beard guy. They're all Kyles. <laughs> They're all doing Let's lines. Let's go see what's bucks. down in evidence. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Do, 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 do. Do oh. I, as a supervisor, have a key to evidence, or do we need to go through? I I think that uh, a key could be had. Yes. So let's go ahead and let's try to figure out through what method this Krieger would be able to gain access to evidence. <laughs> I think it would be a bit imprudent to ask something so quickly of the captain after they set you on the task. Um, so let's. Hey, as we start leaving, he just turns around. May I see the evidence? <laughs> I wish to have access to the drugs, guns, and cocaine locker, please. It's... <laughs> I I am trying to write my own 4 and 7 song, and I need reference material. Yeah, the, you're not going to find War and 7 reference material. But let's say uh, you go down to the evidence locker, and amazingly, I had a character written for this that you guys <laughs> never, ever, ever interacted with. And I'm so happy because this is the first time I've had to open this other sheet. <laughs> and then I'm like, yay. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, this is amazing. You guys have done so well. Um, How are you surprised this is the first time we as police officers have ever entered or, uh, you know, withdrew evidence from the locker? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the example so far we've been given is just pillage of that shit. Pillage of that shit. Yeah, because there's no oversight. You know what I mean? No. So there is there is a proper way. It's just you've never bothered with it. No one ha no one else has either. So. Oh God! Evidence is empty. There's no firearms because nobody has ever entered evidence. All right. Yeah, the firearm fell down the sewer. <laughs> so. Oh, well. All right. You go down to evidence and you find the uh, the little painted paths on worn stone that lead you to what you believe is evidence and you find an armored door and a shut cage Uriah just bell? goes um hello <laughs> we'd <laughs> like to um access evidence please you you see uh, uh the slot open and then the slot close and then the shutter open and uh there's a very whip thin man wearing long flowing robes he looks like a very, very, very old adept. Based on his insignia and ranking, you see that he probably at one point studied medicine, but perhaps mistakes or bureaucratic snafus reassigned him. And as such, he now gathers people's stolen things and sorts them away. 
He blinks his over-large eyes at you and seems to be almost on the verge of sleep. Well, I gotta let the person in charge talk first, so... I must have that door open and point to the door. He goes, Form 17. Broken <laughs> Form 17B acquired. Yeah, okay, now roll to fill it out. And I just came back from my run, so I'm cooking something, but yeah, let me... <laughs> so you should just like... You guys kind of... Right. <laughs> well, dude, so, don't you remember so, my Dark Heresy game where I was like fucking cooking up chicken like every time? So what do I roll for would, him? Yeah, what, what fill skill it out? would it be? Um, let's... Yeah, this is, this is, I think this is my shtick. It is exactly It is, but shtick. you're standing we, we there roll with the nose bleed, so we're going to try a different <laughs> sheet, and when you come to, you can just fill out one properly. Oh no! Okay. We did it. Oh, I, we can roll off. I, I assume there's multiple forms. All like, right. In a so, stack on the desk, right? so hold on, hold on. Um, goat rolled. Um, he failed horribly. So here's <laughs> here's what happens. Goat nods, bows, acquiesces, goes and gets the form, fills the whole thing up, top to bottom, talks with the Krieger, goes back and forth, consults, looks at other forms, goes back upstairs, gets a rule book. Comes back down, cites it four times, hands it over to the man. The man flips it over and looks at it and goes, used a blue pen. (laughs) Um, Uriah immediately goes back to start the process all over again. What's everyone else doing while he's doing that? Picking my teeth with my contingency plan because I'm probably going to have to use it soon. (laughs) I love that this is the end game and you guys like, hold on, we need some paper. (laughs) We need access to the cocaine room. Uh, how easy or hard would it be to cut through that door with like a four sword? Not very. Or failing right. that, the man. Not very. <laughs> I mean, that's an approach, sure. Well, I need to get Good in leg there. over here, sizing <laughs> people up for a smacking. I mean, you could. Does this guy look like a nice guy? Like, he would looks, I care if I He him? looks very thin and very frail. He's he looks like he eats maybe a bowl of oatmeal a day. He looks like a human cigarette. Uh you close to retirement, Chief? He blinks his eyes and goes, Oh, that would be nice. Just tell me. How how long no. you got left? Oh, if all goes well, another forty years and I'll be halfway there. <laughs> so choking on spit. Forty years. People do this for this long? I thought this was like a couple of year training thing and you're good. He blinks so slowly that you can hear it. It's like one of those big, mm. wet, sticky eye old man blinks. And he goes... Gets stuck close. Yeah, just like slowly wrenches back open with eye crusties. And he goes, you know, the first hundred years are the hardest. God. I'm not there, but my character would say, wait, if you've been doing this for 100 years and you said you have 40 more to go and you'll be halfway there, that's mathematically incorrect. It might be. I just do what they tell me. Oh, right, of course, the the Adeptus Administratum never makes mistakes. Speaking of which, I need to find a black pen. Do you have a black pen, sir? Form 3. Oh my god. We don't have a black pen to fill out Form 3. Do you have a black pen? Form 3. Yeah, I, I walk in around the corner, and I'm zipping up my pants, and I'm like, what's going on in here? Uh, he said you can't, uh, he, he bet me you couldn't get behind that door, Ricky. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> no, he just walks, walks up over to there, he's like, hey, load us in, and I'll give you a six-pack. A six-pack of what? I don't know. I got all kinds of nasty swill around here. I'm sure you'll enjoy any of it. I can't really drink on account of... No... Yeah, you can't really do the dope either, but that doesn't stop you. So, what kind of six-pack do you want? Yeah, you gotta fill out a form for that. Nah, the Government gratuities have to be, you know, properly enumerated. Yeah, well, maybe not today. Today's a free day, right? Maybe you just get us in for a free day. Uh, go ahead and try to roll... (sighs) Mm. (laughs) <laughs> uh shifty shifty bastard. All right, let's charm. see. Yeah, let's let's say charm. You're you're trying charm. <gasps> I hate you, Ricky. <laughs> so, Ricky's promise of freedom and alcohol and releasing from the misery of daily mundane existence 
moves this man briefly to the state of choking tears before he opens the door and walks away looking cathartic. I was about to roll an invocation check too, so I could think that worked. <laughs> you were about to be like, all right, we started blast now. Uh, no, I dude, I mean, that's, fear, that's... I was about to fear... I, I, I was sizing up happened. closets to see if there was any about him size. Well, that's the <laughs> thing, is it's like, you have... you. That's four degrees of success on a charm check. So you basically told this man his fantasy, and he is now free. <laughs> yeah, he, he's just like, hey, all you have to do is just offer a guy a six-pack, maybe a little dope, and he'll let you right in. I mean, it's really easy-peasy, and he just, like, walks in. He's like, holy shit, they got so much fucking dope He says up to the security camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes. The eye huh? that's following him. <laughs> uh, I, I was like, all right, I'm going to do this fear aura thing and see what happens, but then I realized it's just for everybody. <laughs> yeah, so so he would have been freaking out, and then everyone else would have been screaming and running around and punching yeah, that stuff. Mean, I would have rolled four dice for it, too. It would have been really great. All right. I would have been like, someone peed my pants. The entire again. building descends into chaos. <laughs> that happens. Don't worry about it. Don't You've seen it before. It. it can't get you twice. <laughs> yeah. Once you see the heart, you're fine. Everything else is easy. All right. Is there any kind of organization? Um, yeah, it, it looks like it is absolutely precisely perfectly organized, though some of the bins look like they haven't been touched in so long that they have acquired life of their own. The storage uh, room is long and wide. It has multiple levels. It has <laughs> catwalks. It goes on for a while and down. Can I size science the area and see if anything sticks out? Ooh, Interesting. <laughs> it's just feeling for strange stuff. You're gonna get some psychic screams from murder weapons. That's I'm calling fine. it now. Half of my best friends are in weapons I've killed them with. Okay, go ahead. That's Eight great. Degrees of success. Cool. Can you give me a willpower check, please? Oh yeah, I got those too. I'm a uh, yeah. That sucks. <laughs> uh yeah. Could you roll me um a uh, d6, please? All right, you you have five additional insanity points. Um, as you reach out with sign of science, you start feeling around with your brain a bit, and you're just uh. going, "Oh wow, this is a really big, oh." There's all these memories, and you're tasting in a little past lives. And unfortunately, like putting your fingers into a dark place and finding teeth which bite them, some of these items and deodans of past lives are connected with. Trauma, tragedy, murder, rape, and other accessories. And you uh, feel people again and again being murdered by these weapons. Every time your eyes glance over a knife, you feel it piercing your side. And every time you see a gun, you'll feel the bite of the bullet and the rain washing your blood into the street. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Ah. Oh, ah. All right. Turn the ad off. Turn that off. Oh. Yep. Nothing good here. <laughs> What are you looking for? Is, is there a computer where I can search through an itemized list? Uh, there, there's a three ring binder. Okay. I was looking for like the the most cursed item in here. Oh, uh, oh, well, you do you feel there's a number? <laughs> that there, there are a number. I figure, I figure if there's a weapon in here that killed the most, it could probably be the most helpful in Ricky's hands. Oh my God, we're giving Ricky a fucking. <laughs> Of demon weapon. <laughs> He's like, yeah. hey, my my gun screams when I shoot people. <laughs> yeah, I love it. <laughs> I get a really looking, big boner. I'm looking yeah. for anything that is imperial pattern, uh, non standardized weaponry. All right, um, let's go ahead. Like special weapons. Yes. All right, so hold more on. than last right. Okay, um, let's let's go ahead and. Uh, <laughs> Go, you might have to port these in, but uh, Deputy, I will allow you to roll 1d100 for procurement for specialized this within the timetable. Otherwise, it I will change I've, the event. I think I've ported all the main special weapons into Foundry. Including right. like yeah, what is it? It's slash roll, right? Yeah. If not, if it's just one or two weapons, I can push that in real All right. Ooh. Super good. <laughs> God damn it. All right. So. <laughs> I'm sorry. There was a 10% chance you would get anything. Oh, well, fuck. <laughs> You find a crate uh, that is marked, and it is marked That's for right. Alpha Squad only, and to be checked out today, but they didn't. Perfect. We'll make it look like a suicide. What? That's weird. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Alpha, Alpha Squad didn't check it out. I wonder what happened to him. <laughs> I don't know, but there's a lot of screaming in here. Can we hurry up? 
Yeah, it digs. It feels like TV and radio static overlapping. But it's Jeez. but screams of the damned. All right, so let's let's walk down the aisles to find this location of this crate. Yes, Miss Carter, I'll tell your son you miss him, okay? <laughs> You're just, like, yelling at the ghost. You're like, no. Dude, shut the fuck up. I didn't kill you. Don't look at me. <laughs> like, I know. Like, I know it hurts. <laughs> yeah, I know. I felt it every time you open your mouth. Can you stop talking? <laughs> so You're like, holy shit, are you Bruce Willis? <laughs> you, Big you fan. Big fan. You find this uh, crate. You do find this crate. It's, it's majestic. It matches the numbers, and you're... Uh, Adept matches the numbers up on the crate with it. It is absolutely correct. However, every serial number has been defaced. Mm. All right, your eyes are back with the proper form. How, he sees how, the desk is empty and the, the door is open, so he immediately assumes that my team just did the paperwork correctly. Yeah. And he walks in. All right, so one, I, I need you to do a knowledge check, Deputy, relating to the Imperial Guard. Okay. Common yeah. lore, war, common lore... Yeah, it should be common lore war. It's under your skills. I'm looking. There it is. Holy shit, are you that dog we hit in the truck? <laughs> no. <laughs> Why would that be? No. It Why might have followed the evidence? car. Yeah, you just find that. They, like, cleared it into evidence. It's like, murder, dog. Oh, yes. All right. Amazing success. You run your fingers over the crate, and though many things have been defaced, you noticed a few hammered-in cartouche marks that were not. You know what's in this crate. Inside this crate are the drum beats of Imperial Thunder. Inside this crate are bolters. Oh my god. <laughs> I shake with ecstasy. Do you have bulging biceps? Yes. Oh my god, this is amazing. <laughs> Space Marines. Space Marines. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. So, uh, very, you, Alpha Squad? Like, take a couple of breaths. And then very casually begin dragging the crate out. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you move the crate with due reverence. It is enormously heavy. Boulders are sanctified. Uh, we must the crowbar for the crate to open. Yeah, you're going to need to make a strength check to get it open. Everything is sealed, like, in the worst way. <laughs> Super duper sealed. And it would probably be best to leave with the stuff, not, like, slowly drag a crate out in the open. <laughs> just like... Be like, yeah, don't mind me, guys. We're just moving out with this. Don't worry, we're off the books. Do do do. Grig, like, give me a strength check. All right, actually, never mind. Fuck. Yeah, the Krieger like karate chops it open. Like he just uses his hand as a crowbar while singing a Krieger war tune and <laughs> just rips the top open. Inside yeah. are eight bolters laying there, glistening in factory oil, along with four magazines each. <laughs> huh. Are those one-handed weapons? Uh, if you're very, very brave, sure. <laughs> I don't think very a strength of 30 picks up a Carefully, bolster. reverently lift one and inspect it. It's, it's heavy. Uh, the inscriptions show that it's from Mars. The best quality. How it ended up here, no one will ever know. I'd I'll like to cast Dowsing to find out where it came. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> You, you, you do that for a minute, and then you open your mouth, and modem noises come out. <laughs> yeah. No. Um, you, you succeeded like crazy on finding something rare and nuts. Um, I do want Ricky to make a... Uh, mm, let's do a scrutiny. No, sorry. Let's do a... Hmm. Yeah, let's do a scrutiny. All right. Though you do try to find drugs, you do not. I want to look for armor, especially right. anything like Xeno's mesh or anything that's concealable and discreet. All right. I don't know what I could find or look for. Um, what do I roll? Uh, D100. Well. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I guess we're all cosplaying as Sisters of Battle. So, okay, roll. Th no, there's not power armor here. Thank you very much. <laughs> What what is this what's this crate along the wall? It's like Spath Marin. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you you guys in the space marine armor, but because it's because it's so big and you're so little, it's just like the eyes coming hey, up I'm out of the neck like, hole. I'm just None like, of us are wearing one arm. Arms. I'm just one whole arm. <laughs> no, it's yeah, everyone's in different parts of it, like Voltron. Like they're just moving an arm or whatever <laughs> and shooting out of it. Ugh. Alright, so you you do roll, uh you do walk in the back. 
and you find a a box marked for destruction disposal. And in this destruction disposal box, you find a whole bunch of very nice seized from the Underhill gang tailored tuxedos that are made out of flak wave. <laughs> yes. With matching uh, fancy hats. So what, flak cloak? Yeah, it, let's give everything AP4. <laughs> oh, that's basically Imperial Guard flak then. Yeah, but it's it's like best quality, essentially. Um, so it's like rich people clothes that got stolen off of a truck and um, then ended oh up here. God. And then, Yeah, so you guys have tuxedos and bolters. I this is I came up with really dumb stuff on this chart, and I never knew if you guys were going to break in here. And I figured at the end of the campaign, no one would ever break into the evidence room. But no, you <laughs> you did that too. Tuxedo, I like it. Yeah, they like really fancy, ritzy, rich people clothes from some clothier, and they are amazingly close enough to your. Uh, your sizes, except for Griglek, I think the pants probably come up to, like, the shin. <laughs> like, he's got, like, the midriff showing. You know what I mean? He's like, I am fancy. Hang on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that on everyone's uh, sheets. So, fancy people clothes and bolters. Good quality ones. Griglek could probably fit in power armor. Yeah, no, no problem, but there isn't any. I expected to get plasma weapons out of that. Oh, don't be greedy. Oh, no, you don't want a plasma gun. No, that's the reason why I say that is like, oh, yeah, roll for your chance to just delete yourself. Yeah, I would have taken a melt a gun and just walked up and divine shot them. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, yes, the fur heresy special. Yeah, you can find one more item if you want. I did my roll. I did mine as well. All I got was corruption. Hey, I got you guys <laughs> in here. That's the best I got. <laughs> All right, Griglack, do you want to search for anything? Griglack. <laughs> Griglack search. So what do you do? Type roll? Yeah, just roll D100. Roll. Are you looking for anything or something in specific? That Griglack talks going to be 43 head. Griglack will look for, like, you know, Griglack weapons, you know? Okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what is going... We're, we're throwing out our only good rolls. We're going to die. Okay, <laughs> so... You, you, Griglack walks around because everyone else is finding things or looking for dope or having mental breakdowns and talking to ghosts. Um, Griglack finds a crate marked with an imperial holy symbol and he pops it open. Uh, Griglack can't read the note that flutters to the floor. Uh, the purity seals. But inside and property of the cleric and bishop prick of Magistrata Mundanus is an eviscerator. A two-handed sword. Two-handed chain sword. That rolls with a mighty engine, ready to tear asunder. It looks suitably big. God damn it. <laughs> this is so stupid. Why are you all rolling so well? You're gonna die horribly in the first I was about to say, like, oh my god. Just like one of the armor well, sets. How do we transport I've... all this stuff without getting caught though i mean we're, we're gonna 14. have like do you have a yeah, car yeah. or something do you have a car have 14 17 18 14 yeah but we have three, a car that's five. on the books you have a car that's on the books that belongs to alpha squad <laughs> yeah. uh -oh. alpha squad <laughs> yeah. killed alpha squad i was oh, there the whole time yeah i forgot you weren't there good but we're totally impersonating alpha squad oh amazing well i didn't know you were doing that but now i do so great didn't that isn't that what we were trying to do no we're but, just breaking an evidence locker for free loot that's not tied to our the last jobs. session. Oh, I don't remember that. Well, session. we were going through their shit as a. Uh, yeah, just, I planted all this evidence hype. in their lockers. Yeah, so, yeah. well, Mike planted a bunch of evidence in their lockers, and I presume that was on the off chance that if you guys died, they would come back and still nail them. Now, on that note, though, Quinn is still blown away that Ricky once again pulled, like, a magical grab out of his hat. Just like, this guy is amazing. <laughs> I, I do not know how to read people. Yeah, I mean, they're all just, like, sad and destitute, which is the kind of planet he comes from. All right, uh, <laughs> all right so, true. so Goat, if you could add the bolters and the... Uh, Already done. All right, thank you, bud. All right, yeah, so man. if you guys are going to go to the car... Uh, I'll give... The, I got to do the eviscerator, though, for Greg, but I'll Sure, sure. Um, but I... If you guys are going to then go to the car, I presume. 
Yeah. Yes. All right. So as you get into the car, you all get into the car in your tuxedos and your bolters, and you this get into so fun. the car and turn the key on, you hear a click of the radio, and you hear G-17 dispatch to Delta Actual. We're, we're Alpha, right? Uriah reflexively just says, <clears throat> G-17, this is Delta. Go ahead. There's a pause, and they go, good luck, boys. Aw. Thanks. Delta out. And then there's a change of the radio, and they say, G-17, all units, network will be offline for three hours routine maintenance. <laughs> oh. oh. It's awful hard to find bad things that happened in the dark. Let's we are the bad things mugged. in the dark. I am the thing that goes bump in the night. Watch, right. I can make it dark, guys. <laughs> Alright, so... So... Is there anything you're going to say to inspire your men as you're all crammed into this luxury car with your bolters and tuxedos before you go off to go meet your destiny? What off will you say? <laughs> what was that? I didn't catch it. Off to the ball. <laughs> another really night at the opera. Grenade, though. Yeah, another night at the opera. Sell yourself, Steely. <laughs> All right. You pull out of the lot for perhaps the last time. Most of you wonder whether you will live this day. Some of you think of your loved ones, and some of you hope Frog will be all right. I should really send him some flies right now. <laughs> you do that, and the car just bursts into flames and changes dimensions, <laughs> and you're all just right, like, game over. Thanks for playing. Again. Thanks, thanks for playing. <laughs> Groves had told you. Yeah. Oh, by the way, you need to do a driving check. I, oh, yeah. I like the idea that we got this far only for you to just fuck up your roll to feed frog, and then the end game is just over. Like, oh yeah, they all just turned into a, a giant block of gelatin. Don't the, worry, I, I took the, the, the music for swells. The captain's pensively looking out her window as we drive off, and the car bursts into flames and melts into the car. <laughs> then like a rift opens up and they see like three demons just run in different directions. So no, like, fuck. <laughs> no, you see a rift open up and a hand come out and take the car. <laughs> <laughs> and you hear gunfire and screaming. And then it just closes and she's yeah. just like, oh fuck. <laughs> Alright, so so <laughs> this is so dumb. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, That's you, a lot of failure. You, you may. All right, deputy. Please give me your best. Your best speech. <laughs> your your speech. You give your men as you turn around and start this car and head off to your destiny. Uh, we are bad men, but the world it needs the bad men because we keep the other bad men from the door, and they done goofed. <laughs> as you say this, you drive into another vehicle. <laughs> is, 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 is there somebody in the other vehicle no it's just a department vehicle you've driven into and there's a huge crunch and a bang i'll lean down and go yeah and i'll lean back in <laughs> yeah i lean out and go watch where you're fucking going would you like to try to, driving to again the, <laughs> to that car that we just hit not to deputy yeah maybe we should walk <laughs> Can you summon uh, a giant bird? Uh, let me see limitations on call animal. <laughs> no, no, I've got this. See, I, I, I got my left and my other's left. Say so we're mixed up, and uh, we're good to go. Oh, good. You throw the vehicle into drive, and you hear the crunching and crankling of metal releasing <laughs> its pressure, and you're smiling and nodding like, "Yes, it's good now." Unfortunately, as you drive on, you hear the telltale sign of a muffler being dragged on the ground. The engine now sounds like a tractor. This, this shall strike fear into our enemy. <laughs> as you drive up with sparks behind the vehicle and just... <laughs> and you're like... <laughs> Alpha, the they're, they're all in... <laughs> They're all in the building, and they go, what's that noise? And they look up, and their car is screaming at the building, <laughs> sparks flying at, like, 90 miles an hour. They're like, James, that's your car. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> all right, um, so you do drive, 
to where Groves had suggested. And before long, before long at all, you find traffic snarled up Mm. and flames rising and smoke. Quintus, have we tried to get supplies for the frog again? Uh, No, not not this time. I'm reasonably certain that I did not do this one. Well, yeah, I watched you. Can, uh, can I pop out the top of the the? Wait, no, there's this isn't our thing. This is like a random luxury car. Yeah, it's it's a luxury. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, you could. There's ways to open the top of a car. <laughs> Pull out my four sword. <laughs> uh, no, I just roll down the window and sit out, like just lean out and sit there. And I want to look uh, around. Is there anything I notice? It looks like somehow, some way, perhaps by accident. A low-flying weather service drone seemingly changed direction and perhaps collided with a car flipping it over in the middle of traffic. Mm. It'd be funny if I just go like, oh, don't worry, guys, I got Frog right here and just opened my jacket up. And you guys, whoa, whoa. What? What I do have, though, is a bottle of fancy high-end wine with a non-gothic name that I'm going to now pop open and start drinking. (laughs) Uh, All right. I mean, hey, everybody fights their own way. Yeah. Um, you see that traffic isn't moving, and and the fire, if anything, is getting worse. I don't do fire, guys. Sorry. I look around the compartment of this vehicle. Is this a personal or a department vehicle? This is a personal vehicle. Check the glove box under the seats. Dig, well, I, since I was you, looking for a siren. Yeah. Well, since you did a <laughs> since you did a lookout, Diggs, uh, go ahead and give me a check. Um, let's do a perception because you did do a okay. full lookout. I. Oh, wow. As you sit there and lean back in and start to describe how the vehicles all look snarled up and, you know, deputy looks around for his siren, all of a sudden you go, wait a second. I thought I saw one of the alpha guys up there. Are they road blocking us? I think the alpha guys are road blocking us. Do, Do I notice their vehicle? You don't, but that was a big fire and Groves did say they would be stopped. Uh, I think we have to go on foot from here, boys. Unless this vehicle can push through a burning wreck and through a barricade. Oh, my God. That's yeah. a lot of damage. Yeah. Viscerator works. All right, boys. Yeah, 10 9? <gasps> yeah. Yeah. And it's razor <sighs> sharp, so if he gets like three or more degrees of success, the penetration is doubled. All right, oh. boys. Here we go. Uh, I would like you to let's go ahead and get your tokens on the southern end here, wherever you would like them on the southern end here. As you approach on foot, this hedgerow is line of sight. These vehicles are line of sight. However, if you approach too close to this car, I will have to change something. So, oh no, I don't know. Are you just spinning your character, Ricky? (laughs) He's he's doing Mad Max rolls into the room. Oh my god. All right. No. So, at any rate, you start approaching. The rain starts whipping up. It is getting dark again. And uh, you've got your weapons at the ready and your hilarious suits. The people who see you walking up don't know what's happening. But in this town, they know by now. If you see fancy and guns in the same place, put your head down and mind your business. I look good. All right. You look frighteningly good. All right, Ricky. boys. Someone go on up. To uh, left. Ishvil Rexkin. I'm going right. He's going left. You go this way. I'll go home. <laughs> I'll follow Ricky. Uh, I wanted to say before we go and uh, possibly die, it was um, satisfactory to work with you. Oh, I need you, you to, me? to stole that shit because <laughs> I've shot people I liked more for less. <laughs> Sorry, are you, guys, are you guys talking to me? I was looking. I was checking out this weapon. It's huge. <laughs> as you guys are yelling, <laughs> as you guys are yelling back and forth, your commiserations. Uh, as you round the corner of that hedgerow, you see, you see, Alpha Squad sitting there yelling, and you you dunk down low. Give me a perception check. Okay. Perception. How many people are there in Alpha Squad again? It's the biggest squad. Yeah, like two. 30 of what them. is our numbers? And a three! Holy fuck. 
you guys, guys you guys overhear them yelling over the crackling flames and they're like we have to get to the shipyard this is outrageous and one of the other ones goes who who controls the traffic drone it just flew into us i we're going to miss it, it's 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 d day this is the day of days and how does this happen all right how do you like uh, cock this thing <laughs> you like yell. You're just like, how do the bullets work? Pretty like, funny if he's just like, ready for me. <laughs> he, he's just like, oh, hey, I think my gun's broken. Oh, never mind. I found one. You just take it from like one of us, and we're like, hey, where's the fuck's my gun? You're like, don't worry, I got it right here. And you start shooting with it. Oh, uh, <laughs> it just floats away in midair shooting. You're like, cool. Wow. Is this an airstrike that just is coming down on us right no? now? What no, is that? I don't know. Someone did an area effect. It's not supposed to be. How do I stop this? Oh, why no, Why do you I, break I, everything? Here, I'll just delete it for you. <laughs> Thank you, you. I was trying to measure. I, I would say your gut tells you you could probably take one good cohesive action before this combat starts. So uh, be pretty smart about what you do. Can I? Yeah. All right. I'm going to very calmly move two feet over. So I've got good line of sight, prone out. <laughs> Steady the weapon on the ground, brace, good line of sight, you know, like perfect shot. These okay, so you're just let bracing and aiming, and yeah, okay. All right, what's everyone else gonna do? Because he's he's let you know he sees them, and it's it's go time. Uh, I go invisible, yeah. I'm, I'm doing hand signals that are imperial standard, but none of them have been in the guard, so they've got no idea what I'm doing. I'm I just flip them off back, take cover by this car here and wait for approaching footsteps to just turn around and blast them with the bolt. I go up to here and kind of keep my head down or not keep my head down, just keep a lookout. All right, cool. I don't see anything over the car, but All right. Greg I'm going. essentially invisible. Okay. And Ricky, where are you going right there? I'm going to take uh, cover right here with Uriah. All right. But, so you're going to make sure um, they can't get around you to the left and you guys yeah. are in the pocket, making sure they can't get around to the right with clean axis of fire. Got it. Are, are they? So let me ask you something. I, I noticed you put a bolter in my inventory. Is that mine or is yes. that just a mistake? No, that's yours. Everyone has bolters now. What is a bolter? I don't know what that is. So 75 a caliber gyrojet yeah. rocket powered assault weapon. That explodes once it penetrates someone. Okay, so I'm going to take and attach my lanyard. As do I. Here, let me just make sure they work properly. <laughs> I'm going to attach my lanyard to it. <laughs> Griglack hiding I'm, behind sacred bush. And then I'm going to try to one-arm one bolter in one hand, <laughs> and it had passed the fire in the other. Oh, oh God, no. he's going to kill us all. Mostly just himself. Okay. Probably. Yeah, it works. What all would right. I have to do to try to lift this thing? Uh, you, you can't... Oh, <laughs> one hand. You know, we'll get into that. We'll get into that, Mr. Fun Man. Um, that's not wise, but it's possible. <laughs> All right, Griglag, son of Griglag, you're up. Oh, uh, Griglag, die. You can hear them on the other side of these vehicles. Oh, well, I can see them now. Am I supposed to be able to see them? Yes. Oh, I had a better roll uh, before. Well, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, twelve. Look at that. <laughs> so wait, you're gonna dot jump over the car and just go Griglek charge. Oh no, no. All right, so Griglek's gonna charge over the car. Like yep. just just like Griglek into action. Griglek have twelve spaces. Okay, you know what? <laughs> um fuck it. Roll for your charge. Let's see if we do this. Charge at whirlwind. Let's do it. Cast greater magic missile. Yeah, so we're going to move your guy. Oh, shit. It moved. It grabbed everyone. My bad. All right, one second. So you grab Griglack, and we move him up here. All right. Now, Griglack, as he charges of the vehicles, <laughs> notices quite a few more people. <laughs> However, this is what Griglack has chosen to do, and I will respect that. Okay, so... Um... Then we're going to roll a weapon skill attack. However, there's going to be no modifiers because he jumped over a fucking car. Yeah, so go to combat, Gurglak, and then click on your eviscerator. Uh, Is that damage correct? Yes. yes. Holy so for balls. Swift, doesn't Swift attack have to be a full turn? Yeah, but you're charging. Oh, no. uh, yeah, so it has to be So it has to be charging, but, tech, but, hand, but he has Berserk Charge, which gives him another plus 20 to hit when charging. He's That's, not letting me do that, though, because I had to jump over a car. Okay, he he so climbed over just, a car. That was his Berserk part. <laughs> and just under attack type, just hit none and just click roll. All right. Griglack, roll. Griglack, die. All right, here we go. Um, 
And so wait, wait, he has Blade Master. He can reroll one missed attack per round. That's right. Hit that it. That might be a good one to reroll. Yeah, that's a <laughs> yeah. ninety-four. Super bad. Try it again. Are you serious? <laughs> a 99? Maybe you can fade it. I don't know. Fade please, please fade this. Please. I'm begging no, you. No, I want to see Griglack. <laughs> if it gets off, to 100, I'm going to be, gonna like, be happy. Versus Seagull again. If it goes to 100, no. I'm just going to like shoot my own guy in the head. What happened if Griglack burned a fate point at this point? I Dude, see. So you want to go all out. Might be a good, considering how the dice are going, it may not be a bad idea. So you wish to burn a fate? Yes. All right. So go get him, champ. You wish to burn a fate, and yeah. and and this you wish to burn a fate for the express purpose of causing as much mayhem and chaos as possible. Yes. Very well. I accept your fate. One Phone moment, King bitch. One moment. I will remove your maximum fate now down to two. You have two of two fate. However, majestically, something magical happens. Greg, like, roll me a d10, please. All right, cool. So, you charge through this car, essentially. You dive through the back window and swim through it like a fish and erupt through the front, and you snarl and stamp your feet, and you just charge forward like a madman with the chainsword ripping and tearing, and while this guy stands here and goes, what the fuck? Because this has been a bad day for him. This has been a traffic accident out of nowhere, and here comes Griglack with a chainsword. The first man, Griglack just starts at the crotch and ends at the neck, and as he sloughs in half the second man, and dies slow as Griglack pins him down through the chest and slowly lowers it to the ground while whispering shh to the spirit realm. That was a good fate point. And as a result, this closest man here is completely panicked and losing his shit. I think that's suitable for a fate point. I would say it's yeah. a very good fate. Alright, so now we move to our next man. Um... So guardsman stand in here uh, is like, what the fuck? He takes two steps and he draws his combat shotgun, which he then oh. decides to uh, use judiciously and a little bit of blast blast at Griglack. Haha, <laughs> he's immune to shotgun. <laughs> I hope not. Okay, so... Unfortunately, uh, this man <laughs> pulls out the combat shotgun and in the panic to try to shoot Greg like fails and just empties, it, like negligently discharges into the ground. Told you. Yeah, just blap. Um, so he took a step and fired. Uh, Ricky, you're up. You hear, you hear Greg like sawing and screaming and laughing and you hear a shotgun blast. All right, I'm going to try to ready this bolter with one hand. He's going to, he's looking over your right. He's like, all right, I'm going to try something I've never done before. And he's going to try to ready it. Doing? He's going to try to ready it with one hand. See if he can first before he dives in. Uh, ready it? Sure. But it's really, 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 really heavy. It's like holding up two tractor batteries by a pistol grip. He's going to try it anyway because he thinks he's strong. Oh, okay. I mean, it's... Sure. All right. What's the rule? No, you're holding them. It's it's steadied as far as you can tell. Um, it's ungainly oh. and unwieldy. No, I, that's what I mean. Like he was trying to see if he could just like steady it up. You could steady it if you put both hands on the bolter and and okay. used it as a two-handed weapon. However, that does run against the grain of your character of liking pistols because you're not sure if this is a giant pistol or not. It's shaped different. Yep. Oh, he's he's assuming this is a giant pistol. That's why he's that's why he's doing what he's doing. So it's Ricky, it's it's one of them. Doing? <laughs> so Ricky's got one of them fancy big city two-handed pistols. He, he's got a big pistol, giant one in the other one, and then a hab pacifier in the other. He's like, I'm gonna try something I've never tried before. If only I had some dope. I, I just didn't know which way I should go. North. You, you hear the action coming from the north. You didn't see a geyser of guts shoot up in the air? No, I, I would I say... Heard had chainsaw. <laughs> you heard the chainsaw, and you heard the unmistakable sound of ripping and tearing. Uh, you should let me double check your character's movement. It's so uh, under combat. It says on the right hand side. You're so you can. Have you could run thirty six. Yeah, but you, then you're not going to be able to shoot that. Turn. But you could move twelve for a full. I movement. can shoot that turn. I can. I can. Uh, I can actually sh uh, sprint and then shoot in the same turn. All right. Well. Uh. Yeah. Let's. So where are we going? 
I'm gonna go and run up there and shoot these guys that I can see. All right, so left or right? Oh, left. I'm not going over there to the right. That'd be too far. All right, cool. All right, so you could make it... I mean, shit, move wherever you want. I'm just gonna run up here until I see someone uh, within cover, like right here, maybe. Oh, okay. oh, interesting. Okay, so as you round the corner of the vehicle, uh, running forward, uh, steadying yourself, you bump into the other end of the line and just watch Grig like murdering the fuck out of these two people. Yeah, I bring the bolter up to this guy's back as he's watching his friend being annihilated. I poke him with it and pull the trigger. <laughs> so you get his attention first with the bolter, and then you're like, hey. And then you pull the trigger. O okay, uh, that is point blank. Are you firing this on full auto? Uh, it, it only goes up to semi-auto. Okay, yeah. so I, I, I'm just saying, are you firing this as fast as you can? Is my question. I'm going to, I, yeah, I'm basically, well, I'm going to fire it once because he's never done it before. Because the shock of the first uh, blast is probably going to make him shit his pants. So All right, he's just yeah. going to fire it one time at this guy uh, <laughs> with his back turned. And he's going to say, this is for Frog. This Frog's is for Frog. fine. He's right there. <laughs> he doesn't know that. All right. Yeah, go ahead and let him have it. Okay, and what's the modifier? Uh, sh just point blank. If you click the range for point blank, oh, I uh, see. yeah, it, it'll it'll tag that on. Okay, so Jesus Christ! So he couldn't miss a hundred and three. No, but he got righteous fury uh, as oh. well. So um, here's what happens: you run up with this bolter, and you're giddy with excitement because for the first time in your life you have that gun that you've seen all the space marines yeah. have he saw the them statues. in the space marine comics right he's been so yeah. excited to actually use one yeah because now you've come full circle not only do you fight crime you've become a superhero in your mind and yes yeah so you are now wielding <laughs> the righteous weapons of justice you grew up with in your comic books and movies and action movies i've been writing and, my own comic this whole time yeah and, and and like i have like a little sheets of paper those little pictures he's been yeah, writing his yeah, own yeah, like yeah. six panel comics on each page yeah and so you you like every comic has a moral lesson you know like give all your dope to ricky um so yeah, if he could actually read and write, that's exactly what he's right. It's all right now. It's just pictures. Yeah, it's pictograms. But um, so so Ricky runs up, and he goes, "Hey!" And the guy turns, and then he pulls the trigger. <laughs> so um, the first shot goes into the right leg, and it just pulps it like rotten fruit getting hit with an anvil. It is a thump as the bolter fires. And there is a huge detonation as it hits the bone of the leg and shreds it open. The second shot hits the leg right away. And you're not sure if you just bumped it wrong when you pulled the trigger or you accidentally pulled it too tight. But the second round hits the naked bone and detonates, blowing the leg into the man in front of him and knocking him prone. The third one rides up, hits him into his body, which then splatters him all over you in the sidewalk. He is dead. The other guy is actually prone. He just goes, I think we're going to have dinner tonight, boys. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, damn it. All right. It's a Hiver thing. You would understand. I, 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 I don't <laughs> think it is. All right. Let's see if this guy can fucking roll to get up. Come on. Mm -mm -mm. No, he does not. Uh, next is Uriah Hobson. You, you start, you're starting to hear the holy bolters of hell go off and Ricky shout nonsense that has n absolutely nothing you are certain to do with any semblance of logic or language. Yeah. So you're always like, damn it, Ricky, I told us, to, told you to wait here. So he starts half moving up and he sees this guy over here and he's just going to immediately tactical blat him with the bolter. All right, cool. Flat. So, yeah, you're just going to lean out and, and do the just pop, pop. Pop, pop. Yeah, yeah. Give, my auto burst. Yeah, give, give it. No aim because he's uh, already half moved. F -f 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 failure. failure. So you lean out with the bolter and you pull the trigger. And and its most holy uh, essence uh, fires. And, and it is so startling to you. You almost shriek from the excitement of having holy <laughs> murder in your hands. And, and you realize and are cowed by the fact you were holding actually the emperor's judgment. And, and it is, it is a big philosophical problem for you. And as, as you think about that, the gun keeps shooting and you, you put a few rounds in the wall of a nearby building and then you stop shooting because you realize, oh, right. 
war. Great. War as heck. War as heck. All right. So uh, you tried. The bolter was really cool, but maybe a bit much. Victor, um, you watch Grig like. <laughs> what did you say, Goat? Yeah. I said I regret nothing. I understand. Yeah, you fulfilled basically the even trigger by trigger is awesome. Yeah, by pu- by touching the gun and using it, you fulfilled way more than you thought you would ever achieve in your life. So yeah, you've you could die he now. Fired a bolter without breaking his wrist. Yeah. All right. So Victor, as you were lining up on those two guys, you watch Greg like um like surf through a car like some sort of jungle beast and tear two people apart in in a manner that makes you wonder if he is not perhaps an orc. I uh, curse as I push myself up off the pavement and move uh, up until I've got eyes on our prone gentleman there. All right. Yep. Uh, I, I, I figure you're going to deliver the uh, Emperor's Mercy. Yes. Oh, I have frag grenades. <laughs> That's usually... All right, you know what? Have fun. Oh, God. All right, the man who had his leg hit and was knocked down, he keeps trying to get up, and right as he does and puts pressure on his right leg, you shoot it off. That is... That is... Yeah. Jesus Christ, you... <laughs> just, like, guy trying to... <laughs> I, I really wish you guys had found the bad box. The bad box was Laszlox. <laughs> so, so, well, no. Yeah, I, I wanted you guys to have to basically set up an ambush with, like, homemade explosives or something, and then Laszlox him to death. So it looks like some gutter gang did it, and then you go over there and grab the real guns and take out the rest. Oh, God. All right, you guys are monsters. Um, Next, all right. This guy, this gentleman, is going to uh, run here, and he is going to try to shoot Griglack in the back. No, no shoot Griglack. Oh, dear. Right leg, 14. Uh, Griglack, what your damage and soak? Go- Take six damage. Yeah. All right. So he, he uh, oof, that's bad for Griglack. eight wounds now. Yeah. Thank you. Can't, doesn't Griglack have dodge? He does. So, Griglack, give me that dodge check, please. Success. Wow. Griglack, no get shot. Yeah, with six degrees of success. So, the guy lines up a 12 gauge blast. He's like, You motherfucker! And he pulls the trigger and the blast. And, like Remo Williams, you just kind of lean out of the way at the right moment and then it just goes flying. And you slowly extend your right hand and do the uh, T1000 with the finger. Like, Griglack's about to serve up some justice. Oh, beautiful. All right, next. All right, this guy. This guy's going to run uh, up here, and he's going to take a blast at Ricky. Rick, what'd he do? And he... F- fuck! All right, so this guy with the shotgun uh, lets it fly, and he just shoots the rear of the vehicle and chips off some of the paint and sends bits and pieces of the paint, plastic, and lights in the street. All right, Quinn, you're up. Ha! Oh! Rolled one nine, so let's do one hundred. Oh shit! I'm in favor of the warp. Like, re-roll that. Okay, whatever thirty-nine phenomena is, but I'm divining shotting for a free action on this guy who ran out. So as you start drawing your psychic energies, and they coalesce to show you visions of where, what is, and what may be, and what paths may guide your bullet to the most opportune destination. As people watch him close his eyes and concentrate in the wind and the rain, a haunting breeze blows up and winds whip up around him and send his hair flying and light objects whip around and the fires gutter and die a little bit. Take your shot, sir. Well, it already hits. I'm strong for damage. I know. Be the calm in the storm. Holy shit. Um, so you reach out with your mind and you guide the moment with a bolter. And you pull the trigger, and the one that shot at Greg like just is plucked out of existence. <laughs> you know the feeling of being in the right place at the right time. Dun dun da. Dun dun da. All right. So next, Greg Lack, son of Greg Lack. Your team has killed almost all of the people here. Amazingly enough, you have done sacred vengeance and glorious violence in the name of the Emperor. However, there are two bad men, and the sword is still very, very sharp. These bolters are awesome. Griglack scowls that he doesn't get to kill the one who took a pot shot at him. Then, it's Griglack charge again. 
work so well last time. Uh, Griglock get plus 40 now. Is it 40 or 20? I thought it was 20. It's 20 from base, but then you get another plus 20 because you got a talent for it. Oh, Griglack been severely under-rolling this game. Well, Griglack's, it, Griglack is only using 1% of his true strength. Griglack have 92% chance to hit. Oh, God, that is... In the head. In the head? Oh, no. So, okay, uh, Griglack... Well, Griglack can choose where he hits. I know, but this is just horrible, like, 18 head damage. Like, the guy's sitting there aiming the shotgun like he's racking it, and Griglack just stomps over <laughs> and just gently... Saws through the guy's head, and Griglack takes his time while Griglack yells at him for being a bad man, and his head is sawn open. It's horrible, but kind of funny, in that Delta Squad way. Griglack trimming the bushes. The man is deceased. All right. Ricky, you have fired a bolter for the first time in your life. It's been pretty cool. You see Griglack getting some shit done. He is coated in blood. It is horrible. All right. Noticing all this cool shit, he wants to get in the middle of the fight. He decides he's going to run over to the other guy. Same. So wait, you're going to run up right up to him thinking that this is like a carronade? Like you're just like, ah. So, so he's running up to him. Yeah. He's going to get over here and point blank, put the gun right over to him. But he's just going to say, for the empire. <laughs> oh, God, it's going to spot over Vaughn. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, uh, yeah, just fucking roll it, Ricky. You bastard. You people are just, like, stomping on baby ducks. It's great. Well, stop sending us baby ducks. I will. He keeps trying. Kablam. <laughs> he rolled a 99 and still hit. That's, that's what Ruben, you that's did. That's an automatic miss, but that's a GM's call. No, that's... I, I'm just gonna say, if you walk up to it and pull the trigger, I'm not XCOM. I can't do that to a man. That's wrong. <laughs> I'm sorry, It's but okay. I'm going to get my comeuppance at the end of this. I know I, I am. I'm, now I'm I have happily awaiting. So, as the fires gutter down, and you realize the last of the bad men are dead, huh? you take assessment. The general public doesn't want to know why a bunch of guys in tuxedos emerged and brutally murdered some law enforcement types in broad daylight, or rather, what passes for it in this stormy land. In fact, most people in the cars are just seemingly waiting for you to be done with whatever you're doing. Maybe your grig light can move the truck or something, or the flipped over car or something. We, we could just shoot it with bolters. That, would that work? Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think ammo is not going to be replenishable, so I would hold back on that. I mean, yeah, I mean, yes, you could shoot it with bolters. You could also do that with anything else. I mean, you could be Rig like... saw in half. All right, now we're thinking. <laughs> give me a weapon skill. It's, uh... Lightning attack. Oh. oh. So, all right. <laughs> Ow. He'd get Griglack. a modifier for the... To, oh, yeah. no, even with a to size modifier, he'd still miss. Yes, Griglack, Griglack Swordmaster, so Griglack uh, can reroll. Yeah, let's go That's ahead right. and reroll. Cause Hell I, yeah. Once per round, baby. Oh, okay. Oh, my so, God. very slowly oh and deliberately, God. like shaving <laughs> a Christmas ham. So stupid. Griglack <laughs> shaves the car into Arby's thin slices. <laughs> you realize with practiced hand, he wasn't joking when he said that on his home world, wildlife was bigger and more dangerous. He harvests the meat of this ground vehicle for you, presenting it, and the fire has gone out. Holy shit, Griglack. Yeah, we're, we're kind of out of like time crunch, guys. Um, to the death mobile! Uriah starts doing the old man jog back to the, mo back to the car. There has to be a module for Foundry that has the Batman tr scene transition, which just zooms in and out a few times. <laughs> I, I I heft the bolter onto his shoulder and begin directing traffic to clear the way for us. We're not in uniform, boss. No, nope. no, but, but they listen but, to a man with a gun. Yeah, people people understand. The guys with the bolter say it's okay. It's probably all right. So they're they're gonna they're gonna start moving, and before long, one of you has pulled up in the murder mobile, which is still dragging the muffler. It, the, the muffler is ruined. I pat it lovingly as I push Uriah out of the driver's seat and get in. <laughs> the Chad. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to drive this, but okay. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, now I feel bad. 
You don't have feelings. No, my character doesn't have feelings. I feel bad. So as uh, as you're sitting there pulling the car up, uh, let's go ahead and do a perception check. Everyone or him? Everyone. And what do I see? Perception or awareness? Perception. <laughs> my gas mask fog. Greg like, nope, everything's fine. Greg like, more talking about how little meat on this car. <laughs> Rose is like, this was too easy. Oh, nice. Way too easy. So as you're getting back in the vehicle, uh, Diggs, you, you, you notice a ring ring. From a call box? Ring ring. From the box? As you turn, you see a public call box across the square. Uriah wobbles over towards it and picks up the and picks up the receiver. There's a click follow him. and another click as you hear lines being switched and you hear repeats of standby, 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 standing by. And then you hear hello. Ah, yes. H- hello. Yes. Thanks. So is it appears you have found Alpha Squad. And it appears they are no longer part of the equation. Isn't that wonderful? Yes. Yes. So what we need to do next is to make sure the rest of them don't get up to whatever they're getting up to to close this loop, of course. There, there's more? Oh, yes. No, you you, you got the, the dumb ones. The, the smart oh. ones were already up this morning. They didn't pick up their bolters. Yes. You, you, see, the, you see the point I'm getting at. Where are they? Well, as it would happen, they are at the hangar bay where you landed not so long ago. They are in city center. And believe it or not, they are at a private airport or rather something passing for it among the very rich and, well, shall we say, influential. What's very, very interesting is they seem to be awaiting a pickup. They're fleeing off world? You have three hours, roughly, before this happens. Understood. We'll make sure this is completed. He goes, yes, we must balance these equations. The system doesn't like errors such as this. I believe in the system, sir. I'm contractually obligated to. (laughs) Groves chuckles and goes, ah, yes, 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 indeed, indeed. And then he hangs up. Uriah just puts a receiver back in and goes back into the vehicle, puts his seatbelt on, and then he turns to the sir and says, there's more Alpha Squad. They're at uh, a private air spaceport for upper-class clientele. We Was that Groves? Yes. Aren't we against Groves now? No. He's the one that's been causing all these issues, though. Yes, but he's he is superior to us in the Adeptus Administratum hierarchy. I'm so confused. I thought he was trying to take over the planet. That's not our decision to make. Either way, we already faced Alpha Squad. If we don't finish the job, if we do not complete this task satisfactorily, they could come back for retribution. I think it'll be better if we just, you know, killed all of them. I'm fine with that. I'm just confused. There are no private airfields in G-17. No. They're in city center. Uh Uh-huh. Did, so you, going to- did you, may chance, uh, request that he make it so that we can go to city center? No. We can go anywhere. <laughs> or look at our fancy suits and we got bolters. <laughs> Who's going to stop us? <laughs> That's the a nice suit, but you can't come in. I'm, we- I'm going to, uh, to pull over and kick the muffler completely off so that we don't <laughs> get stopped on the bridge. Okay. We're going to get stopped on the bridge from the earth. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a ton of smoke going everywhere. Yeah, but at least there won't be sparks. Oh, man. Fair enough. They're going to they're gonna be like, stop them at the bridge, and the bridge is going to raise up. We're like, floor it. We're going to try to jump. <laughs> and then you just go right into the bay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <Sure. laughs> oh, there's like a mosaic of it painted, and you're like worshipped in the underhive as like saints. <laughs> It's it's just a still from Blues Brothers. <laughs> I was just thinking the same thing. Yeah, oh, freeze man. in mid jump. Yeah, <laughs> they were Next never. Next time s- we'll see if the Duke boys made it to the other side of the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
All right, so you you are going to have to cross the bridge, and as you guys may recall, the bridge has been taken over uh, from the purview of the PDF and is now under the purview of the Arvates. Yes, we're friends with them. So no. as as you as you everyone hide the bolters as you drive everyone hide the bolters. That is the name of this episode. Um, so. As you drive up to the bridge, you see um, a very competently laid out approach to the bridge with K rails and people standing around wearing lots of armor, looking very angry. And at the end of the bridge, there's a tank. And there appear to be two people waiting, waving you in. It appears that not much traffic wants to cross the bridge these days. <laughs> Are we just going to drive forward? Yeah. Up oh, no. <laughs> Deputy just rolled. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the guardrails will keep us in line, right? <laughs> just all right. Just scraping it all the way that through. Is, that is two degrees of failure, so I'm not going to have you run over a gate guard. However, on the way up, you underestimate the size of the sedan. Maybe it's the wetness of the road or the gumminess of the tires or you were used to the giant vehicle and this one's different and you just clip them every time you turn every single time. So by the time you pull up and stop, uh, you're dangling mirrors and the sides are all scraped up. And I very casually roll down the window. Oh, yes. Uh, I apologize. I'm used to the bicycle. A very... Very stone-faced man looks at you and extends his arm, and he goes, License, registration, and travel permit. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. That's uh, a lot of words. Yeah. Uh, ein moment bitte. And I begin uh, very clearly fake rustling around the car, looking for my paperwork. He just goes, Sir, you have... One minute to produce the paperwork, or I will charge you with obstruction of a traffic obstacle. I would like to put him inside of a loop. <laughs> so the psychic powers come out. All right. <laughs> so you want to put him in a loop. I'm just going to put him on forget me. It'll All just right. make him just not these realize not anything for a while. For. <laughs> All right. So you're going to do these are not the droids. Okay, not, not, I did I did manifest it. All right, so describe how you're going to use this. I, I would so like I'll be to like, hear. oh, here they are, and I'll hold out my hand, and I'll open it. There'll be nothing in there, but then suddenly it's like, you. And now he's like, produce the papers. Produce the papers. Yeah, produce he, the papers. so he keeps, okay, you put him in a loop. He turns and walks back into the building, and then he marches out as though he first saw you and walks back <laughs> out and minutes. asks for the papers. And then he turns and walks back into the building and sits down <laughs> and you see him do this four times. We should be going by now. Yeah, let's, let's, let's just turn around forward. Next After time he turns around, we just kind of go. All right. Oh, so, fine. Oh, yeah, you know what? Make a drive check. Let's see how neatly you get away. <laughs> oh, my God. No, we're going to make so much noise. Just dragging the guardrail with. Oh, my God. We did it. All right, so as soon as he turns for the fourth time, um, the, the Krieger goes, yeah, that's really weird, and just floors it. And you just get out of there just neat and clean. Just neat and clean, squealing tires, just like, yeah, that's weird. That's too weird. Um, before long, you're in city center. Uh, you notice that a lot of people are looking at your vehicles. Um, a, a lot of A lot of people are not really understanding why there is a luxury car in such disrepair on the road and and you are starting to draw many faces especially as you head toward the nicer part of town toward the hangar bays and the private lighter district which is used for well mostly rogue traders yeah well, on our way into the city center uh ricky's just gonna go ahead and light up a blunt <laughs> i'm gonna hot box this on the way in I'm I'm gonna roll down the window, and I've got one hand on the wheel and the other hand doing the little air wing thing. Oh, god. oh god! Like with your hand in the wind. Yeah. <laughs> All right, um, Ricky. If you want to hot box that car, you know what? Everybody, give me a toughness check. <laughs> I mean, does the does our, our Krieger get a? He has a, gas mask. He has a gas mask. He has a gas mask. He's fine. What am I doing? Toughness. Everyone, a toughness check. This isn't good. 
No. I, I love the idea of the gas mask and the tuxedo. All right. So gas mask, tuxedo, everyone rolling along. Um, unfortunately, uh, everyone is pretty stoned right now. There's no resisting it. This is a pretty calm day, all considered. It's not been that bad. I mean, uh, yeah. you got frog at home. There's the potential of ice cream later. You killed a bunch of assholes. So, I mean, there's job Foot openings. Soup isn't so bad. Yeah, this is the first time uh, your character, Goat, is like, oh, this is what anxiety feels like when it doesn't exist. Yes. Oh my god, he's an addict immediately. <laughs> he just starts listening to jazz and wearing turtlenecks. Do we have any <laughs> snacks? Um, you start. Oh, I got wine. I'll take it. <laughs> we, I, we're, we're I take a piece we, of meat what? off of Griglax's tuxedo and pass it back. No, he's not gonna <laughs> fucking eat people. He's not that high. <laughs> so, so here's here's the next thing is um. You know what? We're uh, smoking and drinking. Yeah, smoking and time. drinking expensive wine in a ruined luxury car while wearing yeah. tuxedos and with bolters oh in your laps. <laughs> All right, so hurt. go ahead and do me a. Um, get Cena thought it. <laughs> oh God! All right, so here's the next. Yeah, and the driver's got a gas mask, and there's just weed smoke, and everyone's <laughs> laughing. And oh, oh, you know what? You you open the center console, and you find a pot of uh, a, a little metal pot. And you you find uh, a little a little loaf of black bread that's cut into very thin slices. He just immediately stuffs all of it in his mouth. And he's like, arm, arm, well, you you arm. eat the metal pot. It's a metal pot. It's no it's, the bread. Okay, there there is that little metal pot there sitting in the ice. Yeah, he, he's gonna leave the metal pot alone. He just wanted the bread. Okay, you did. looking if there's any like forty k equivalent of convenience stores or. <laughs> is, there, is there a stuffer shack nearby? Uh, you, you know what? Yeah, let's wrap the stuff. All right. Shack, so guys. on the way to your hit, you guys all decide to pull over and get snacks in your wrecked car. Well, no, no, wait, wait. We can't tell the boss to do it. He's not high. He's like, I'm not stopping or something. I don't know. Yeah, and we, I wanted to request that we stop for food. Uh I look at my watch. How much time do we have? You, you think you your your men your men are at a certain point. And you realize that maybe they should have one last good jovial meal. You could probably waste ten minutes. Grove said you had hours. Okay, so we'll uh, call it a last supper. Oh fuck yeah, dude! Whatever you guys want, it's on me. And I kind of stumble into the whatever place we show. I imagine if there was a Last Supper and you guys end up having to go to a Chuck E. Cheese, and it's a bunch of guys wearing tuxedos at a Chuck E. Cheese, and that's your Last Supper, and you've all get bolters. One of them's covered in blood. <laughs> yeah, just horrible blood stains. Oh. Uh. Uh, no, we just pull up into an, uh, a bowling alley, and they're like, "Food is only for people who play." Oh god. <laughs> so. We're in a bowling alley covered in blood with tuxedos on, and they bring out, like, fucking fries and shit. Yeah, they bring out, like, the and big nacho plate that's just greasy. Yeah. All right, so you, you pull into a, a a convenience station. This is a nicer in part of town, though. So there's, like, benches out front that haven't been put through the windows, and everything <laughs> that's, like, on the shelves is actually in date and edible. I would like the... Corp starch, comma, crunchy. You say to the thing on the shelf, it says nothing back. I I just take the corp starch, comma, crunchy snacks. You can't believe that you're being allowed to hold them in your own hands unescorted by someone with a 12 gauge. I feel young again. I, Wait, I just, no, I, I just, when I was young, I slapped 200 guild on the, the counter to whatever they want. The guy. Looking at the counter considers your huge display of boorish actual money and not sending help. He rolls his eyes and goes, this must be a new fad. I'm not fat. But I kind of go away and I eating go look for right food. The aisle. Yep. <laughs> I, just, I just start eating anything I see that looks good. So you guys are walking around with bolters and tuxedos, eating everything off the shelves. And the guy is just watching you like, what is going on? As he looks out at your vehicle in the parking lot, that is just <laughs> look like it's freshly gone through a cheese grater. Eat up, guys. It's the last meal type oh, of thing. Oh, good. Like the la like that one tell of the emperor hanging out with like that other people at the last meal. I think I don't remember. Yeah, yeah the last supper 50. before he teleported on Horus' ship and tried to teleport behind him, but Horus 
to his dismay, had teleported behind his only misbegotten son, Sanguinius. Man, you should visit the black ship. And then Alanius Pius teleported in front of the Horus, and he spent the full action to kill him. So then oh. the Emperor... <coughs> oh, <come> on, um, <laughs> we're getting a, a children... We're getting, like, the history lesson in yeah. the middle of a fancy gas station. Yeah, while, while high. eating oh, everything we see. Yeah, while <laughs> baked. While baked off your ass. Yeah, he Ricky's just eating a frozen pizza that hasn't been cooked. So you you oh, just <laughs> <laughs> what? Hey, is that Primark pizza? No, man, it's pretty good. Give me a slice. <laughs> he hands you a brick of pizza. Okay, so so what does Greg like want to eat at the gas station because he's inhaled the shaman's magical vapors and is now very happy. Yeah, he got six degrees of fear. Holy shit! Something, he is the bird. Something now. meat looking. All right. Um, you you look through the items and you you see a a big chungus meat burger that is that is in a giant wrapper. It looks like it contains over two kilos of meat. Hey, remember when we? Uh, it's the Black uh, Templar burger. <laughs> Black Templar burger <laughs> with real Gene C cast off. Ugh. Deal. Zero point zero 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 three percent. Uh, Greg, like, are, are you going to just eat it with the peel, or? <laughs> uh, sure. There's another way. And the, okay, so Greg likes just eating a frozen burger with the wrapping on it. It tastes like metal and burger. It, it it's not the worst thing you've ever eaten. I'm eating like those push pop ice creams. Oh, oh, those are nice. I miss those. Yeah. Yeah, those those are really nice, the push pops. All right. So you guys have had all of your uh, push pops, wine, weed, and song. Um, the man actually does give you your change back, and he asks you to leave. <laughs> wow, this is the best place. Ever. We'll, we'll be back later if we survive, and I'll, I'll... So when he gives me back, like when he says take the money and leave, because I'm like, holy shit, this place is great. I, I I'm, We're coming back here if we survive, but I'm going to just swipe my money back and also grab anything else that was on the counter <laughs> and just pocket it and just head out to the car. <laughs> so you have a handful gonna, of like cigarette lighters. Yeah. Like, like oh, yeah, just yeah. a couple five hour energies or whatever the hell the equivalent for the counter is 60 hour energy. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to take hard worker. one of my spare blunts. I'm just going to drop it inside the, the, uh, the tip jar. A penny, leave a penny. <laughs> yeah. That's great. That's <laughs> I'm just leaving it. I'm leaving it for him, man. I'm like, here you go. You I'm earned it. it where I'm you going. earned it. All right, you all get back in the vehicle and head to the spaceport. You are full. You are high. You're in good spirits. You're wearing fancy clothes that fit most of you. Oh, I'm man. imagining mine just hangs off of your eye like a scarecrow. Yeah, I mean... I didn't it, have time to put on the full tuxedo, so I just have the tuxedo top, but the same ripped pants that I keep wearing. <laughs> I, I would imagine you have like the camera bun, like wearing it around the head, like some sort of like Japanese headdress thing. Yeah, he's wearing it like he's got it uh, wrapped around his head, like he's like some sort of like nineteen uh, eighties like chest, like a bib. Yeah, yeah. As you head up to the hangar bay, you find the private parking, and in this private parking area, you park your borrowed vehicle. I would like you to make one last driving check, please. For my own humor. Nothing can go wrong. Let's see. I'm not fading that. All right. So <laughs> you you were talking. You're, you guys are talking about camaraderie and learning and how you're all fish out of water and how you've all come together and learned to just teach each other and do the best job you can. And as you all, as the Krieger leans back and puts his fist into the center and goes hip, hip, hurrah, teamwork, he drives into the wall and the car dies. Uriah stumbles out of the car, and he just takes his hat off and puts it over his chest. The car is broken. I very, very calmly put it in park. And- <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the, the gear selector comes off in your hand. I set it on the dash and pat the dash lovingly. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> Uriah writes down, um, find so, alternative means of exfiltration. Hold on. I pop the hood. Uh, that's going to require a, a strength check. Okay. Because I use my uh, high end clothes to take the uh, drugs out of my system so I can sober up. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, yeah, you try to pop the hood, but you realize the hood has become one with the wall. Oh. Okay. 
I, I begin caressing the hood. I know it hurts. It's okay. And I put the bolter to the car and pull the trigger once. <laughs> like a horse. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so after saying hip hip hurrah teamwork. I, I am a cavalry man after all. So and, and you blow your stolen car's engine out the bottom. Um, a, a, there's a deafening bang. And you scatter oh, the gas iron engine block across it. <laughs> and then you hear someone yell from elsewhere in the in the garage, like, "Hey, keep it down down there!" <laughs> and then I I chirp twice on the remote to pop the trunk and grab the tripod and the gun out of the bag. <laughs> so, all right, you're taking the auto cannon out of the back with the ammo feeds, and you all have bolters and tucks. This is payday two now. Yes. Uh, yep. And on that note, I think we'll end here for tonight. The next firefight is very ridiculous. <laughs>